The Brain Prize has been awarded by the Lundbeck Foundation since 2011. In 2019, the Foundation made it an international award, opening it up to researchers of any nationality, working in any country, and in any field of neuroscience. To date, it has recognized 44 neuroscientists for their work. Today, it's the largest neuroscience prize in the world. But what do science awards, like the Brain Prize, actually honor? What purpose do they serve? Why are they so coveted? And what is their impact on science and society? Lena Skola is the CEO of the Lundbeck Foundation, the founders of the Brain Prize. I asked Lena about the Foundation's enduring commitment to the Brain Prize and to scientific research. And the Lundbeck Foundation is very committed to neuroscientific research simply because there is a big need. Neurological diseases are on the uptake, unfortunately, affecting not just the person with the disease, but also their loved ones, the healthcare system, and society at large. And as an enterprise foundation, we want to be part of the solution. And how can the Brain Prize help meet these huge challenges? Some of the great discoveries that have been made, they are the results of many years of hard work, often by people that simply have the, the courage and the persistence just to continue because they believe in their idea. They are the ones that can really change the way we look at the brain. We want to reward them, to celebrate them. And that's why we have the prize. For the Lundbeck Foundation, the Brain Prize has a clear purpose. But what purpose do prizes serve in the wider scientific community? I put this to Sir Richard Friend, a fellow of the Royal Society and Cavendish Professor of Physics at Cambridge University. He's received a number of prestigious awards himself and he also sits on selection committees for several international prizes. Prizes in science are a very powerful way of telling the whole world that behind exciting and important things there are human stories. Prizes are proper recognition for the individuals who receive them, for why something, a, a crazy thought, turned out to be the basis of something unexpected and important and of contributions that others would have made as part of a team. What relevance or value do prizes like the Brain Prize have from a scientific community point of view? The scientific endeavor is global. There are brilliant people everywhere. If we can use the business of giving prizes to democratize that sense of opportunity, that will be a, a useful service to mankind. And it's that that I think can provide the confidence and inspiration to switch many, many smart kids into doing something very useful, like moving into science. While prizes bring benefits for the scientific community, what do they mean to those central to the process, the winners themselves? I took this up with Professor Oli Keen. He was awarded the Brain Prize in 2022 for work that revolutionized our understanding of the neuronal circuits and cell types that control movement. Only as a scientist and as a person, what meaning did it bring to receive an award like the Brain Prize? It obviously made me feel that I have elevated in, in neuroscience because it is a very strong recognition. It's a very strong personal recognition of the work that I have been doing for a very long time. Because this is an international neuroscience prize, it gives a platform that reaches out to the world. Your voice carries more weight. And I've been giving a lot of lectures since I got the prize. And uh, this has been scientific lectures, but also lectures outside the university. What you discover is that most people have an enormous interest in, in neuroscience, the interest in motor control comes because of the recognition of the prize. That is a really strong satisfaction for me. I feel that because of the prize that what I've been doing becomes special. 
Each year, the Brain Prize Selection Committee spends many months reviewing nominations and debating who the winner or winners will be. Professor Richard Morris is chair of the Brain Prize Selection Committee. I asked him about the intense process undertaken each year to determine the winners. The nominations have been increasing year by year, and it's now a considerable number of which many are, are truly spectacular nominations. It's a hard process to whittle this down, but we have a committee of real experts in their, in their various different branches of, of the neurosciences, uh, an outstanding group of uh, brain scientists from all over the world. This is an international prize. The discussions around the table are, are, are robust. I mean, always friendly, but robust. We go out to outside experts, experts in the specific domains of science that the, that the applications are, are covering. Guided by these external reviews, we s start to see a sort of small group of topics which are really beginning to sort of shine all the time, asking ourselves the question, about the merit of that science. You know, has this science been influential? Has it been addressing really exciting questions? Has it made progress? Is it being replicated? That's the exciting bit because you're then reading some amazing science. Um, and then the final step is a, is a blind vote. Eventually one particular group emerges as the, as the winner and that's, that's an amazing moment. Science prizes honor the remarkable people behind outstanding research, bringing them, their work, and their field to a much broader audience that would otherwise be unaware of their achievements. Awards like the Brain Prize inspire science and scientists. And this in turn can fuel the process of discovery and help bring those discoveries to the people who need them. So, who's made it through the intense scrutiny of the selection committee to become a winner of the Brain Prize 2024. It's time to find out. From a broad field of strong nominations, from all over the world, the Selection Committee is awarding this year's Brain Prize to three scientists for their foundational work in theoretical and computational neuroscience. The Brain Prize 2024 goes to Professor Terry Sunowski. Professor Larry Abbott and Professor Heim Sompolinski. I'm elated, I have to say. I'm absolutely honored and, and uh, it is great pleasure. If you just look at the list of people who have won it, I mean, these are the giants in neuroscience and I, I never thought of myself in that at that level. I think this is an important, uh, an important milestone to, to see that this is uh, recognized. It's a great honor, um, but it, it's also, I think, an honor for the field that I'm in, theoretical neuroscience. I think uh, the surprise aspect is, you know, partly, wow, I won a prize, but also, wow, the field won a prize. And it's, it's up there enough that, that people are willing to give prizes. This year's winners are a trio of amazing pioneers in what we now call computational and theoretical neuroscience. But it wasn't called that at the beginning. They, the people who helped to build this whole branch of the brain sciences. What their work has revealed through attacking a whole wide range of different problems is what one might call the language of the brain. We all are physicists and into neuroscientists in a way but we have different styles, different strength, and, and different contribution to the field. So it's fantastic. Looking first at Terry Sanowski's work, by way of example, he's developed a whole range of different computational models of different aspects of brain function. Some at the micro level of individual synapses and components of dendrites and how they work through to the behavior of large numbers of cells in networks that are filtering information. Uh, so it's, it's a brilliant insight into the way in which large numbers of neurons solve some fundamental problems uh, through their dynamical activity. Uh, it's really uh, very exciting. This is gonna help boost, not just my career, but it's gonna help boost and, and, and really uh, help the careers of many, many others. You know, p people we've trained, new people coming in, 
no, this is really uh, uh, going to have a it's, a, it's a very, very important uh, event. Larry Abbott has worked on a range of absolutely foundational problems in various different levels of the neurosciences, like navigation by animals with very small brains and how, how they actually do that. This is just one example of many problems that he and his group have tackled that have given us a sort of foundational understanding of individual neurons, of groups of neurons, and the manner in which they maintain their connectivity to serve the functions that individual areas of the brain are performing. It means a lot to me as a recognition of a field where I started out a complete stranger um, that I have to say thank you to everybody in the field that really kind of opened their arms to me, you know, let me come in, let me do work. And this is kind of a culmination of that, that yes, it does mean quite a lot to me. Heim Sompolinski also has a background in physics and he's built models of the collective behavior of large numbers of neurons to try to understand their dynamic activity and how they actually go about solving a whole range of problems in perception and memory and in action as well. I think it's absolutely fantastic that physicists are taking an interest in the brain because they're bringing models with a degree of quantitative precision that we've not seen before. And Heim has been at the center of that development uh, within our subject. It's a vindication of, uh, uh, of, uh, of an approach uh, that uh, my colleagues and, and me took. It's a really a celebration of theoretical neuroscience uh, by, by, by giving the prize to the three of us. Absolutely fantastic. Dear Terence, Larry, and Hi, I want to thank you for all your great work, your brilliant results, and your great contributions. And I want to congratulate you on behalf of the Lundberg Foundation and the Selection Committee on winning the 2024 Brain Prize.